Okay, so last time we derived the general solution to a repeated roots case. I just want to go ahead and work out an example just for completeness. Uh, so let's say that we were presented with the following different equation. We would go, the first thing we would do is we would recognize that it is a uh, constant coefficient homogeneous second order linear differential equation and we can go straight into the characteristic equation. So r squared plus 2r plus 1 is equal to 0. That's the characteristic equation. We can factor this. So this gives us r plus 1 times r plus 1 equals 0. And what we see here is that our two roots, r1 and r2, are both negative 1. So this is a repeated roots case. And because it is a repeated roots case, we only get one solution, which is e to the negative t. So this is our only solution that we have. We need another solution. And so we're going to use that reduction of order process, uh, y2 is equal to some unknown function times e to the negative t. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to plug y2 back into our different equation. So let's go ahead and differentiate it twice so we can get expressions for y double prime and y prime. So y2 prime is equal to uh, v prime times e to the negative t, got to do the product rule, minus v times e to the negative t. Let's go ahead and differentiate that again to get y2 double prime. So we get v double prime e to the negative t and then we got to do the product rule again, so minus v prime e to the negative t. And now let's work with this guy over here. So we get minus v prime e to the negative t, and then a plus v e to the negative t. Okay, so these are our expressions. Let's go ahead and plug those back into the differential equation. So when we plug it back in, and I'm gonna factor out the e to the negative t's right away, we get e to the negative t times v double prime, this guy right here minus 2v prime plus v. And then we have a plus 2. I'm going to factor out that e to the negative t as well. So we're working with this y prime now. Um, v prime minus v. And then finally, plus a y in our differential equation, uh, which just gives us v e to the negative t. OK, so all that has to equal 0 because we are homogeneous. And the first thing that I want to do is, again, uh, just cancel out this e to the negative t because it's never 0, so I can divide both sides by it and get rid of it. Okay, so let's gather the terms. Uh, let's deal with the v double primes first. So we have v double prime. Now let's gather the v prime. So we have a minus 2 v prime and then plus a 2 v prime. So those cancel out. Then we have a plus v minus 2v and then plus another v. So all these again cancel out just as we showed before in the last video, we arrive at a second order difference equation, which looks like this. v double prime is equal to zero. Everything else cancels out just like we derived uh, in the last video. So we can easily solve this just straight up integration. When we integrate once, we get some just random constant. When we integrate again, we get another constant like this where w1 and w2 are both constants. So this means our y2 is equal to w1 times t plus w2 times our y1. And since w2 times y1 is just a combination of our y1 solution, we're just going to completely ignore it because it's not linearly independent. We'll just take the linearly independent portion. So we will say our y2 is just equal to t times y1. And again, we covered that in the last video. So when we express our final solution, it's just going to be linear combinations of our two solutions like this. And that'll give us C1 times e to the negative t plus C2 times t e to the negative t. And we see that again, we arrive at a solution where all we have to do is take our first solution y1 and multiply it by a t. So really, it's not really necessary to go through all these different steps. Uh, I could have, I, as soon as I got this, I could have been like, oh, I could have jumped from here all the way to here uh, pretty much instantly because I know that every single time a reduction of order problem for a repeated roots, constant coefficient, homogeneous, second order linear difference equation is always going to lead to this point right here with the uh, t, the, the function, our arbitrary function it, for our reduction of order case will always be a t for this particular kind of problem. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.